सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री वी आर ऑन द लास्ट मॉड्यूल एंड इनफैक्ट येस्टरडे वी कंप्लीटेड लेक्चर ट्वेंटी फाइव इन विच वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिहेवियर वर्क एंड पार्टिसिपेशन इन द लार्जर ऑर्डर सो based on this i mean we have been talking about this for the last few days and perhaps you have been able to reflect on your role in all of this so we had also given an assignment yesterday that this whole continuum we should be able to see that inside us we are making effort towards working for transformation with that working for transformation within ourselves outside we may also be able to see our participation in the family having justice in the relationships at least within the family and there is possibility of our participation in some of the dimensions of the human order also the societal systems the five dimensions that we talk of so we've been doing work on this for some time now and so the question or what we had to reflect on was that on these fronts that is working for self transformation participation in the family participation in the larger order what do we feel has changed what we have achieved and what we can see is you know how to go ahead and what to do next or what is to be done the effort we further need to make to reflect on this so this is what we had asked in the assignment so if anybody would like to share their um what they could reflect on you can be sharing now or if there is any question regarding the content that we shared we can discuss that namaskar madam namaskar to all namaste madam uh, reflect on your effort towards uh, working for transformation within yourself uh, is the first one uh, yeah. within uh, within myself is i have been uh, do not uh, very much but uh, to some extent i am trying my level best uh, that is uh, uh, referring to uh, my natural acceptance always i am doing that is my effort uh, in all the cases and uh, my participation in the family mm -hmm. uh, working towards justice you told mm -hmm. so what i uh, am trying first of all i am trying to uh, see whether i am going in right direction or not uh, in the sense uh, whether i am developing the right understanding whether i am referring to natural acceptance that i am seeing in the same way at the same time simultaneously i am seeing uh, the same thing is happening uh, in my uh, wife or in my son in my mother i am trying a little here we are talking about not how the others are doing but what is my participation uh, my participation i am seeing uh, whether uh, whether i am uh, uh, what can i say uh, competent enough in the sense uh, uh, whether i am complimentary or not uh, my uh -huh. role as a uh, complimentariness uh, that i am seeing from time to time uh, uh, i am uh, doing that help also and uh, my participation in some of the dimensions means in education samskar uh yeah uh, in the uh, for me i'm trying uh, uh, it means what i'm first of all concentrating on the education uh, and uh, for students i have been trying from the beginning to impart uh, the right understanding and the referring to natural acceptance that i'm doing in the education but uh, and health also uh, i'm trying uh, to have uh whether the food what i am taking whether it nurtures protects uh or not 
uh, and uh, regulation uh, i'm doing uh, suppose if it is uh, uh, too much attempting uh, sometimes uh, because outside food also uh, that i, I have minimized uh, a lot so different angles i'm trying uh, just for the time being i'm uh, concentrating on these two only dimensions uh, and uh, justice uh, i have seen uh, and production service also uh, the uh, what can i say uh, for example whatever is being produced by the society that should be uh, in in combination i'm using uh, uh, that should be utilized properly we are giving our perspective no our, sp our perspective and uh, i'm seeing also i'm trying uh, yeah what the questions we had asked was only about this uh, our participation yeah. participation so yeah, yeah. when we say health hmm health uh, when we are looking at our own health that's yeah. not what we mean by participation mm -hmm. that is part of ensuring my feeling of self regulation mm -hmm. and trying to ensure the health of my body na no? oh, and family also madam that uh, i'm i mean i i, I forgot to add it mm -hmm. my participation in uh, health also and uh, Uh, in, uh, outside of people also whenever uh, they come across uh, i shall try to uh, uh, what can i say uh, explain uh, very briefly uh, about uh, the importance of uh, the health uh, and the food what we uh, take and at what time we take uh, just uh, many uh, whenever it, uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, what can i say i can remember about my participation <laughs> that i am mm -hmm. doing so in all areas i am trying madam just to, to make yeah. it brief i am uh, means what stopping so that uh, to have to give chance for others also yes thank you yes thank you anybody, thank, thank you madam anybody else would like to share their experiences or if there is any doubt regarding what we spoke yesterday yesterday or in the last few days so we you know on the one end we are working for transformation within and with that transformation within we are also seeing our role our role with every unit as we expand our vision we are able to see our role with more and more orders so to begin with you know just transformation within the self then seeing my relationship with the body then going further to other human beings in my interaction with others am i doing justice and then seeing my participation in the larger order so in my behavior in my work in my participation as i transform within it will become evident in my behavior it's a natural outcome of that that my behavior will start becoming more definite i will be able to ensure justice more and more often and in my relationships with other human beings and in my work with nature i will be also thinking about ensuring the enrichment the prosperity in nature and with that you know as my as i expand my idea of family i see my participation in larger and larger in a larger dimension so i am able to see my participation in whatever may be the opportunity i have based on the skill i have i may be able to participate towards you know in one or more of the five dimensions that we spoke of we all have the opportunity to participate in the dimension of education and um sanskar because that is something that is already been brought in place all we have to do is to decide to participate in that in the form of volunteering and we are part of it so now then you can see that you are on the one end you are working for transformation within and on the other hand you're working towards your behavior work and participation so we can reflect on this namaste namaste ma ji namaste to all ma uh, regarding the justice 
uh, in my behavior uh, okay. in this uh, regard i want to uh, share um uh, i my behavior i observe uh, when i uh, um, put any proposal or discuss with the uh, family members or others i take care of my words and uh, i i don't want to i refer my natural acceptance while talking with the others but uh, whenever the working uh, the people working with me they done a mistake uh, i should uh, uh, say that uh, this is the mistake you are done uh, like sometime i raise the voice and tell them but uh, my intention is good and i don't to have any uh, the like a, don't want to hurt them but i want to uh, show that their mistake that should not be repeat again uh, in that way i am doing and i forgot after just a moment that that only that i want to convey them so this is the mistake you are done it should not be repeat again uh, is this okay ma'am like regarding justice i thought that i should not uh, hurt anybody uh, in this regard i yeah. want to know whether i am so when we are talking about justice mm-hmm. we are talking about ensuring the feeling from my side mm-hmm. yeah when you mm-hmm. say i have the right intention mm-hmm. in fact everybody has the right intention if i can see mm-hmm. that what is mm-hmm. intention intention is my natural acceptance isn't yeah. it Yeah. so my intention is pure my natural acceptance is always for mm-hmm. relationship for harmony and for coexistence mm-hmm. and it is the same for every human being every mm-hmm. human being's natural acceptance is for the same thing mm-hmm. so every human being's intention is in fact the same however they may or may not be able to see it right now yeah, due to yeah. lack of understanding so now if i can see this at least from my side i will ensure the feeling mm-hmm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. so when i am raising my voice mm-hmm. say i am getting a little disturbed mm-hmm. now this means that i am not ensuring my feeling within isn't mm-hmm. it mm mm-hmm. so rather than point out their mistake mm-hmm. rather than trying to watch my words first and foremost mm-hmm. we can try mm-hmm. to see the feeling within and then refer to the natural acceptance and see if my feeling is right because if i have mm-hmm. feeling of relationship i will not be disturbed by this the others behavior one way of doing it is trying to help them see what is right rather than telling them what is wrong can mm-hmm. you see the difference if somebody yeah. tells you don't do this you're doing the wrong thing you might have immediately a feeling of opposition they're telling me not to do something but if somebody appreciates what you have already done and then motivates you to do something further now it's a different story now you may be more willing to listen to them isn't it mm. what do you think yeah ma'am yeah so yeah. for that you know if my feeling is ensured then i will be able to see just like i can see my intention i'll be able to see their intention also that they also want to do the right thing they also just lack understanding mm. but if i tell them you know you are not competent or you have made a mistake it should not happen again now these are do's and don'ts rules that we are making for the other and nobody likes to live by rules isn't it we give them a choice we give them a proposal we ask them to see for themselves they might be more willing so we can see for ourselves also somebody tells me don't do this yeah. don't do that i don't like it i may follow for some time but it may or may not last or when that person is not looking i may not like it because i feel something is being imposed on me which is not my choice so same way for the others also 
if we can have the right feeling we'll be able to see that they just lack understanding so how best i can help them motivate them to do better for that if i can see first focus on what they are doing right and appreciate that then talk about what they are doing wrong or rather how to go forward from where they are yeah that might work better and for you also it will be you know it's not that we have reached realization so we are also working so we can also tell them that this is something that is helping me perhaps you might like to listen to some of these things some of these proposals so if right in front we say that we are also exploring not that we know everything Yeah, yeah and they start seeing the definiteness in my behavior mm. then they have trust that yes this person is making sense then they want to listen then that is the right time to really have them look at the different proposals otherwise we may be disappointed it might come across that we are just giving a sermon or lecture mm. so our children might say you know stop mm. like giving me all the time mm. it seems like nagging to the children sometimes huh? mm. yeah so we can see that if i am working on myself my own behavior becomes definite when they see that then they want to see what i am doing how i am staying calm how i am not getting disturbed isn't it then they will want to listen to me so after reaching a certain level of competence then we can help the others but first of course we have to work on ourselves which we all are doing and slowly we can also see our participation in the family like this no yeah seeing my responsibility seeing my role in the family yeah. and then moving from there helping the other yeah thank you thank you okay i think we'll go to the next lecture lecture 26 you've been talking about behavior work and participation in the larger order now we are going to be looking at the outcome of this the undivided human society and a universal human order ultimately leading to a human tradition where this can continue generation after generation so if we look at if we look at this chart that we are very familiar with we spoke of you know the right understanding the wisdom which is identifying the human goal the science of how to fulfill this human goal and the science of behavior science of work science of participation and then we will move forward now next slide now what is happening is if we look at you know when we are transforming when we are um able to see more and more within ourselves when we are able to awaken to these higher activities now there is a change in our perspective what does that mean earlier we may have been having this perspective of say for myself i might have been feeling that i am okay everybody else is a problem in the beginning then as i start seeing my role as you know as i start contemplating opening up the lowest activity in the b1 block i may be able to see my role my participation then complaints come down i stop complaining about how everybody else is a problem and i start working on myself and seeing where i can be complementary how i can be more definite in my behavior and in the process in fact i find that i am more at peace i am calm i am content there is no contradiction in myself so as we awaken to the higher and higher activities we have a change in our perspective so when we are 
से यू नो वी हैव व्हेन वी हैव द रियलाइजेशन ऑफ को एग्जिस्टेंस सो इनिशियली व्हेन वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द इंडिविजुअल एंड स्लोली एक्सपैंडिंग टू द फैमिली सोसाइटी नेचर सीइंग ऑल आवर गोल्स दैट वाज वन वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट but once we awaken to the higher activities once we realize the coexistence then from there when we look down you know, we come down to from existence come down to nature to society to family and then the individual how our perspective changes that we'll take a look at next slide so in this slide you can see when you are moving from below if you look at the diagram in this you know the lowest diagram what we are referring to as animal consciousness where largely our focus of living is mostly in the selecting tasting we are mostly busy with um you know what is likable doing that what is i what i dislike avoiding that and so on so we are busy with trying to get the right sensation through the body so that we feel happy right sensation in this case i think that whatever i like is good for me and i feel happy for a short period so i keep trying to get more and more of this sensation through the body and i am also trying to get the right feeling from the other so when the other says something harsh about me the other says something negative shouts shouts at me i get disturbed i get very unhappy and i complain so if you see this that is what we can see na when we are only awakened to the lowest activity if you look at the whole b1 uh, sorry b2 block also still you know even though now there is thought there are feelings but we are still living only with the lower activities of the self and or you know our imagination our desires our feelings are largely based on whatever we are gathering from outside because within me i have not awakened to the higher activities so i am not getting guidance from within so from outside whatever somebody says whatever the you know current trend in society is whatever it is that i think is right for me so those are what leads to preconditionings in me i haven't verified them for myself but i think that's the way to go so in society if it is that a measure of success is having a big house and one or two cars then i have this preconditioning that when i have that then i will be considered successful so i keep trying for that as an example the other thing my imagination is largely based on is what we were talking earlier about the sensation whatever sensation is likable for me i try to go after that sensation so when it's hot i want to get an ac so i think okay i need an ac now i have to have money for this and so i keep working trying to get more and more physical facilities that will make the body um or make me feel comfortable based on the sensation that i have in the body so during all this time my imagination is largely being driven by sensation and preconditioning in this way only a small percentage may be coming from the natural acceptance to begin with but as we awaken to the activity of contemplation this line that you see where it says transformation or development that arrow going up there is where the journey of self evolution begins before that 
it is probably only in thought that we get the information within us and so we are thinking about things the proposals appeal to us we think they make sense but it has not come in our living that's when we are still below this arrow as we awaken to the activity of contemplation and how do we awaken to the activity of contemplation same thing we keep referring to our natural acceptance we keep trying to observe our feeling and bring it in line with the natural acceptance more and more and more often this is an ongoing process because you want happiness every minute every moment so you need to ensure that your feeling is right every moment but it doesn't happen a lot of times we are impacted by the outside we are impacted by the outside because we have not ensured the feeling from within if my feeling was ensured from within the outside will not have so much impact on me so this transformation begins as we keep doing this and we awaken to the activity of contemplation and we see our role in relationship we see our relatedness with other human beings all human beings and we see our role in the relationship so rather than complain about what the other is not doing or trying to correct the other or trying to find fault with the other i start focusing on what i can do to become complementary to the other how i can help the other for the sake of the other not because i want them to change so there is a different emphasis my focus has shifted from this is not right that is not right this one needs to change that one needs to change to how i can help so this transformation starts from there then as we keep exploring verifying within we will awaken to the higher activity of understanding where we start seeing the harmony in the nature we are able to see that every unit in nature is self organized it is all in a certain order things are happening in a particular definite order it's not random so i am able to see more and more of that and ultimately when i awaken to the activity of realization i am able to see the coexistence so for that you know when i see the harmony when i see the self organization when i see how definite everything is that wonder that search for how is it like this how is it that everything is so well defined and so definite as i keep exploring that and i awaken to the activity of realization and i see the coexistence then it all falls in place then i can see that all the units are actually immersed in space so there is already a relationship i see that being in space all these units are already energized they are active they are self organized they are doing things in a definite manner and there is a re- relationship and they are able to recognize this relationship and fulfill this relationship also in a very definite manner so this is how we go step by step from below up this we have done before also but just as a recap next slide so if we look at this this is when we have not yet awakened to the higher activities so we are working with what we call animal consciousness only the b2 block is active and it is being largely influenced by the outside by preconditioning and sensation so in our behavior with others there is going to be sometimes happiness sometimes unhappiness and because we are largely influenced by the outside 
we have not awakened to any of the higher activities it is mostly unhappiness this one is a problem that one is a problem this one didn't do this that one didn't do that no so everybody else seems to be the problem and i become unhappy because of what i think is the behavior of the other when i work with nature it is going to be sometimes prosperity sometimes not but because there is no guidance from within it's all from outside it is mostly a feeling of deprivation i don't have enough i need more i need more money to survive i need to ha- have a job where i can get more why should i look at social service if i don't get anything out of it what's the use things like that so mostly i am feeling deprived and i feel the need for more and more and when it comes to participation sometimes i may contribute to order but mostly i am passive or i am leading to disorder how i am passive meaning things are not right outside and i see it and i just turn the other way that it's okay things will improve government will do something whatever so it's a passive way of looking at it what can i do i am just a small human being so on or we may be leading to disorder also we are going on you know in our car and there is a minor accident or something the other person gets out of the car gets angry we also get out of the car and we start shouting and a huge crowd collects and we are disturbing the traffic we are not allowing the traffic to go smoothly because we have created an obstruction in the middle so here i am leading to disorder so like that we'll see <coughs> participation is lacking from our side or at least not in the right direction next slide now what happens when we awaken to contemplation now in our behavior sometimes there is happiness sometimes there is unhappiness earlier it was more of unhappiness now it is once i am able to see my role once i am able to see my relationship with others then in my behavior in my interaction with other human beings mostly i am happy with them and i am also helping the other be happy because i am working on my feeling ensuring my feeling within but occasionally i slip so mostly happiness sometimes unhappiness when it comes to work sometimes prosperity sometimes deprivation when it comes to participation sometimes contributing to order sometimes passive or leading to disorder so you can how see how the intensity of um you know things how they were before that is changing because now i am seeing getting a little bit of guidance from within at least at the level of seeing my relatedness with other human beings then next slide as we awaken to the activity of understanding again in our behavior mostly happiness sometimes unhappiness in our work mostly prosperity sometimes deprivation and in our participation mostly we are contributing to order because now we can appreciate the harmony that is there the order that is there in nature so i can see you know that is i can see what my participation is so mostly i contribute to the order but sometimes i may slip and again i am passive next slide and then when i awaken fully to realization then in my behavior or interaction with other human beings there is continuous happiness in my work i am always looking at mutual prosperity not just my prosperity but prosperity for nature and in my participation i am always contributing to order now there are no complaints against anybody i am able to see that whatever is not in order or whatever somebody else's behavior is is due to lack of understanding so what is my participation in this i focus on ra- that rather than trying to change the other or trying to um complain about the other next slide 
If there are any questions, you can just raise your hand. Otherwise, we'll keep going. I think this is quite straightforward. Now, if we look at, you know, when we have this realization, now from there, if we look down, how would it be? Right now, we saw the pattern, how it looks when we are going from the lower activities to the higher activities. Now, once we have been able to see the coexistence, once we have been able to realize the coexistence, now, how would it be? So now, you know, when it look, when we see at the level of behavior, we are starting from an undivided society. Because when I, I am able to realize the coexistence, then we are seeing already our relatedness we already have the feeling ensured. So I already see the whole world as my family. From there we come down to society, then our independent family and so on. So we are starting from the feeling of love for all, each and every unit in nature. And then we come down slowly to our independent family and having the feeling of affection for the members of our small family. So how does this change the, you know, what is significant about that? So we'll see that now our whole context, our vision is of an undivided society. And with that, when we are seeing our relationship with every other human being, with that now, when I look at my individual family, then I can as well have an, a feeling of affection for the members in my family because I anyway have seen the relationship with all. But at the same time, I'm not ignoring my relationship with others. Otherwise, what happens a lot of times is we over-evaluate our relationship within the family and we under-evaluate our relationship with others because the relationship is already there. It's only a question of whether I'm seeing it or not. So when we have not awakened to all this higher activity, then we see, we over-evaluate our relationship with our immediate family. We pay more attention to them. And we tend to under-evaluate all other relationships. So for others, what we call those outside the family, I may be under-evaluating my relationship with them. I may be violating my relationship. I may not be doing justice with them. I may be exploiting others for trying to satisfy my own family members. But when I have the larger picture, this will not happen. I will not violate other relationships. So in fact, it is as if my family has expanded from this small family now to the world family. I have concern for all. I have a feeling of relationship for all. Next slide. Now when I look at, you know, justice in my relationships, I have, you know, I can see that I can ensure the feeling, I can have this acceptance within me of the relationship continuously and unconditionally. Unconditionally means regardless of what the other's behavior is like, regardless of how the other thinks, how the other is doing, what the actions are, all of that doesn't matter anymore because from my side, I can see the relationship. So I can ensure my feeling within myself. There is definiteness in my feeling, even if the other is misbehaving, no matter what the other is doing. And I am working for justice in my behavior with each and every human being whether it be my family, somebody outside, now there are no barriers. There are no boundaries. I don't look at, say, my community in a different way and another community in a different way. There's no boundary there. I don't look at my nation in one way and another nation as something which is outside that. There is no boundary. The whole world is my family now. So that is the difference. My perspective has changed. 
now i'm looking at my relationship with each and every person in the whole world so now there is fearlessness i have acceptance for my relationship for all means i have trust with that trust there is fearlessness next slide now let us look at work how would work look like when we are seeing from top to down so when we have realization of coexistence and from there we look down at the work work means our interaction with nature what work we do with nature so we'll be seeing nature as a whole we'll be seeing the harmony the self organization in all of nature so i'm not starting from some small unit within my home i'm not starting from looking at the trees in my house otherwise what happens i see my relatedness with the trees in my house but the trees outside i don't see so if somebody breaks some fruit or you know some flowers from something in my compound i get disturbed i over evaluate that as mine my possession and something outside i may not have any concern for ah if they are breaking something in the street let them do it's not in my house it doesn't matter but when we have the realization of coexistence and from there we look down then we see the whole of nature as one now i see my relatedness with each and every unit in nature there is no mine or some other i see my relatedness with all and from there i start working downwards to the community society community the nature in that area and finally around the house around the family so now when i see this now i see my relationship not just with the trees shrubs the grasses within my immediate yard within my house or within the limits of my farm or whatever it is but i also see my relatedness with every other greenery outside the forests outside everywhere and now there is no you know over evaluation of things that are there in my house i still have the right feeling towards you know taking care of prosperity within the house within the yard but i am also taking care of seeing my role my participation in helping with things outside so it may be participating in planting trees participating in cleaning up rivers participating in um uh, you know making sure that the forests are thriving or whatever it may be i won't violate that because now i can see my relatedness with all of nature next slide so this is about work when we are looking at nature as a whole now when i look at pro- prosperity i am also keeping a watch on prosperity in nature so i am trying to identify my need properly what is the quantity i really need being with that understanding that the you know physical facility is required only for the body so i identify my need properly i am ready to produce by way of labor i make sure that in the production i am using cyclic and mutually enriching processes otherwise i can see that the nature will be harmed and i am also ensuring justice for the people whoever is involved in this process and then i am also making sure that i am rightly utilizing whatever i already have storing things properly exchanging things with seeing my relatedness with the person with whom i am exchanging so seeing mutual fulfillment that being the goal now my whole perspective is from that view and when it comes to preservation of the rest of nature then enriching the rest of nature protecting the rest of nature and rightly utilizing the rest of nature if there is a hand raised uh, madam could you please expand uh, the production by way of labor a little bit uh, to recall yeah 
labor is the work that i do with nature so okay when i say produce something so if i am if i want to produce something so i make the effort to plant the seeds i make the effort to you know take care of the seeds the plant as it grows i make sure that i am helping to nurture it with manure or whatever it is i am working with nature that work with nature is labor okay madam thank so you i have a mindset for labor mm-hmm. and i work with nature to produce okay okay good madam thank you madam so let's go further yes so now we can go to participation in the larger order next slide so now if we look we had talked of these four goals right understanding right feeling in every individual prosperity in every family fearlessness in society and coexistence in nature this we have already discussed several times so we had talked of these goals and we had talked of our participation in the five dimensions for fulfilling these four goals so now you know when we if we if we are starting from below if we are starting from the lowest activity and going up we slowly start seeing how we see our participation in the immediate family then further in the community then in the society and like that until we get to universal human order so we take part in these five dimensions now there is a huge scope in this because when we start from the small family also we are able to see that you know one family if it is working together for the common goal then it can have impact on other families in the neighborhood you form a family cluster say 10 families together now it moves from there to expanding to the village then expanding to a village cluster expanding to the nation ultimately to the world family so this is how you would go when you are going from below up now if we look at from top when we are coming down when we have the realization of coexistence and with that now when we are participating in the family order it will be in the context of the universal human order so now i will look at my participation in the five dimensions with that view of the universal human order for fulfilling these four human goals so my my perspective is now from top to bottom so this is the difference yes next slide yes then the outcome of the my behavior my work my participation if we look at that that is the undivided society the universal human order and human tradition that becomes a natural outcome of eventually working for our own realization and seeing our participation in our behavior with other human beings in our work with rest of nature in our participation ultimately if we keep going in that right direction making effort final outcome would be an undivided society a universal human order and human tradition so we we'll look at that one by one we we'll look at next slide undivided human society is what we spoke of first so next slide so in an undivided human society this would be the outcome from living with justice being in harmony with other human beings so now we have expanded from the family to the world family so there is no boundary now every everybody i see my relatedness with that is the undivided society next slide this we already have more or less spoken about we have the clarity and acceptance for relationship with all continuously and unconditionally regardless of their behavior so i am able to see this feeling of trust for everyone everybody has the same intention as mine i have the feeling of respect for everyone and in fact i am able to see when i am coming from top down i have a feeling of relatedness for all i have a feeling of love with that when i interact of course a natural outcome is justice in the relationship leading to mutual happiness 
so with this undivided society there is fearlessness because now everybody is related to everybody else we can see that so now there is no need to fear somebody because i have trust on everyone so there is fearlessness in the society yes looks like yeah now here we are going to talk about universal human order but i think we are supposed to okay let's just go one more slide if you look at the universal human order the five dimensions of ensuring human goal now this goal has been met for everyone that's how you have universal human order this is the outcome when we live in harmony in nature we are living in harmony with the rest of the human beings with everyone so we have moved from family order all the way to world family order now the whole world is my concern or i see my relatedness my responsibility with every unit in the whole world yeah so we'll stop here we'll go further tomorrow um, not many questions came forward we'll reflect on it and if there are any questions we'll take them tomorrow i'll also um, put an assignment in the group and we'll stop here now